Hi, this is Stephen from Owner Disown. And uh, tomorrow, the 13th of June, there is a big conference in Los Angeles, E3. It's something I always wanted to go to, but I can't make it this year. And uh, Alienware will be launching a good range of new products, some exciting products, and I'm going to run through them now. So let's take a quick look. First up is the new Area 51 desktop. Now, Alienware are launching this with the AMD Threadripper CPU and the Intel Skylake X CPUs. Now, this is an exclusive. If you want a Threadripper CPU in a desktop from an OEM, Alienware is your go-to guy. They're the only guys for 2017 that this is available. They have an exclusive. Of course, you can build it yourself, um, but if you want an OEM, this uh, is the way you've got to go. Um, it's uh, ideal for enthusiasts wanting the best uh, gaming experience, VR, 4K, 12K applications, streaming whilst doing other multi multitasking activities. Um, so uh, it, uh, the Area 51 Threadripper Edition will be uh, available on July the 27th. And the uh, Intel Core X series ones uh, will be following shortly after. No word on pricing yet, but I'm sure it's not going to be cheap. Now, in the desktop, there will be Intel's Optane memory, which is fantastic. It can uh, be used as a uh, hybrid memory storage for uh, caching uh, information to make uh, your drives faster. So that is nice. So before we delve into the nitty gritty of the new Area 51, let's see what's currently available on their website. So you can configure it from like $1,750 all the way up to close to $7,000. An i7-6820K all the way up to i7-6950X uh, CPU. And uh, you can go all the way, I think, from 16 gigabytes of uh, memory all the way up to 64 gigabytes. Uh, GPUs ranging from a GTX 1070 all the way up to a 1080 Ti in SLI. So let's look at the Threadripper Edition. Um, it comes with uh, one M.2 slot, so you can uh, configure the SSD up to one terabyte and configure it with a two terabyte uh, 7200 RPM uh, hard drive. Um, it uh, can have two power supplies at 850 or 1500 watt, and it's got the AMD X399 chipset. Um, with either the 12-core uh, Threadripper 24 threads or the 16-core 32-thread uh, Beast. Um, graphics options, um, you can start off with uh, a 1050 Ti, uh, some AMD cards like a 570, um, 580, and uh, or you can do the 1060, 1070, uh, 1080, and of course uh, do them in uh, SLI and even triple card options there with the AMD cards. Memory, all the way from eight gigs to 64 gigabytes. Next up is a new line of monitors. It is the Alienware 25 inch gaming monitor. Now there's two types here, uh, one featuring uh, Nvidia G-Sync, which will uh, go for $699, and uh, one uh, for AMD FreeSync, which will uh, retail for $499. Now these are available as of the 13th of June. Now they do have a native 240 hertz refresh rate and virtually no lag with a very fast one millisecond response time and three preset display modes to suit your requirements. It is fully adjustable with strong steady metal cast legs and very thin bezels which is ideal if you're using it for a multi-monitor setup. So let's take a quick look at the ports here on the underside. It has four super speed USB 3.0 port, an HDMI input, and a display port. No Thunderbolt 3, uh, but still, that looks pretty sweet. It is a TN panel, um, as I say, with a refresh rate of 240 hertz. Um, it is a 1080p panel, so no QHD here, so it's 1920 by 1080p, but it is bright, typical brightness of 400 nits, and a good contrast ratio of 1000 to 1 with that one millisecond um, Response time is great. As you say, it uh, also uh, has uh, G-Sync or FreeSync and uh, pricing uh, about $500 to $700. Now, accessories. Yes, Alienware is launching some gaming accessories. So first off, we're looking at some keyboards here. There's two types, the Advanced Gaming Keyboard or the Pro Gaming Keyboard. And they both use uh, brown mechanical switches, which uh, uh, give it a very precise, responsive, but yet not too clicky feel. It has uh, N key rollover, 
so every key is uh, registered and it's got a very durable one and a half millimeter steel plate inside the keyboard to make it uh, you know pretty strong it's available from uh, about $90 for the advanced version and uh, $120 for the pro keyboard and again these are also available as of June 13th 2017 so let's take a look at the uh, both models in more detail um, both the advanced and the pro keyboards have uh, Kehua brown mechanical switches offering great responsiveness they both have Alienware control center software allowing um, you to configure all the keys uh, to your liking um, they are both anti-ghosting which allows you to press uh, for example the uh, AW keys whilst uh, throwing grenades so you can run and still throw grenades it's got N key rollover so each key is uh, is registered uh, however the advanced uh, keyboard here has no backlighting but it's cheaper at about $90 so the uh, pro gaming keyboard does uh, add a few extra features um, the uh, dedicated volume rocker is up uh, the top right hand side and it also has onboard memory for uh, macro assignment and it also has uh, 13 zone RGB backlighting and this is available for about $120 to round out the uh, accessories Alienware are launching some gaming mice and to be fair we use these a lot don't we so there's two models the advanced and the elite and uh, the elite actually does offer up to 13 uh, programmable uh, buttons and swappable grips and Alienware FX lighting for increased personalization and uh, it is ergonomically designed for increased comfort and durability that for the elite model lasts for up to about 50 million clicks now the advanced model is available for about $50 elite model about $90 and again these are available as of June the 13th so for $50 the advanced gaming mouse has three levels of on-the-fly DPI switching has nine unique mouse buttons that can be customized to your liking um, RGB Alienware FX lighting and it's also corded it's not wireless it's corded if you want to splash out a little bit extra cash I think the elite model is the one to go for for $90 it does give you an extra two levels of uh, DPI switching so that's five it gives you some extra buttons for to be configured up to 13 there uh, also has the RGB Alienware FX lighting but it uh, has adjustable swappable side grips and a three position palm rest which uh, I believe is unique uh, to uh, Alienware's uh, mouse here um, it has a variable weight to, to help uh, suit your, your needs and your sensitivity it is also corded so no wireless option here which can uh, create input lag so I do like this one so I think you'll agree with me there that they are pretty good particularly what I like is the uh, uh, Area 51 and uh, uh, the Thread uh, Ripper uh, AMD CPU apps it's very exciting and uh, they got the the right to that through 2017 as, a, as an OEM so of course you can go out and make it yourself but you know if you want to buy a pre-built system Alienware is the place to go for that uh, CPU so that is exciting indeed um, the mice and everything else looks great uh, the I'm looking forward to uh, the uh, the 25 inch uh, monitor too that looks pretty nice as well um, so new things coming in ahead of that um, we did talk with them uh, briefly uh, unfortunately there's no going to be any 18.4 18 18 .4 inch uh, laptop which is a shame they did say if there's going to be if if my viewers fancy it let, let us know and we can give them feedback uh, but I was hoping there was going to be one, uh, one there perhaps with a 1080 Ti in there but that doesn't look as if it's going to be the case um, also they are going to be launching some uh, headsets wireless and uh, wired uh, headsets and uh, also they in 2018 they may look at uh, making the laptops thinner as well possibly using Nvidia uh, Max-Q technology that's just something they're thinking about not definite yet but it could well be on the table and I wouldn't be surprised because you know Acer, Asus and uh, AORUS are going to be launching them uh, this year so anyway I hope you like that thumbs up if you did uh, subscribe to see some more and I'll see you next time bye